Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. 1134 on this day before Thanksgiving. Couldn't ask for a better day for late November. Not in my eyes. I mean, we've got plenty of sunshine out there. We'll see a few extra clouds in play, but you can see straight sunshine in Owensboro right now, at least downtown. And we're going to be seeing that temperature warm up to around 60, the average high 53. So we are looking good on this Wednesday. Big travel day, no big travel problems. In fact, no small travel problems either, for that matter. As you see the barge working its way off into the distance, there's the traffic on the Twin Bridges as we look from Ellis Park and looking at downtown Evansville and all its glory. Our superior ag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank getting the goods on that shot. 54 degrees right now with a southeast wind at 5 miles an hour. So the wind, not going to be a big deal today. South, southeast again, it's going to be 5 to 10, but closer to 5 than 10. It's pretty much where it is right now. It's where it's going to be from here on out. Uh, we've already got a 61 degree temperature in Madisonville. Most of us, though, in the mid to upper 50s. 55 in Jasper, 58 degrees in Tell City, 55 in Henderson, 56 in Owensboro, 59 in Carmont. So most of us, yeah, mid to upper 50s. Got a few low 50s up to the north. Vincennes at 53 right now. And we are shouting out Connie Howerton and the West Side Improvement Association coming up on this Friday at 5 o'clock. Uh, they're going to be lighting up Gateway Garden right there on the corner of St. Joe and Maryland. Of course, this garden, uh, this was one, an idea that was developed by Charlie Stocker, our garden guy. Uh, he died last year. Connie has kept it going, and I love it. The West Side Improvement Association, shout out to you guys for keeping that good-looking garden going on the West side of town. Live first warning Doppler uh, radar showing nothing. We are seeing some clouds spilling in from the west, but no rain associated with those clouds. But we are going to see a few more clouds mixing in with the sunshine as we go through the afternoon. Rain, I mean, down south of Atlanta. So you could travel to the ATL today. You're looking good. You're traveling to Chicago, you're looking good. A few clouds in St. Louis, but staying dry. Washington, New York, all looking pretty good to the east. So Love what I'm seeing on this travel day. Easy travel weather across most of the country. There's our extra cloud cover we have in play, mixing in with the sunshine. And we are going to be noticing more clouds tonight. Staying dry, though. And we're going to have a dry start to Thanksgiving. Here we are, basically first thing in the morning on Thanksgiving, 4 o'clock. That's about the time Grandma's putting the turkey in the oven, right? By 8.30, more clouds in play. Still some breaks out there. Here comes the rain kind of showing up. Latest run on our future tracker has the rain basically pushing in around midday. By early afternoon, you can see the rain already spilling across much of the tri-state. So yeah, morning dry, afternoon, scattered light rain showers. It's not going to amount to a whole lot. In fact, rainfall numbers should be less than a quarter of an inch. Here's the good news, though. It's going to be moving out of the picture overnight. And really, by first thing on Friday, that rain is gone. And I don't expect any rain after that. So if you sleep in just a little bit, 7, 8 o'clock on Friday morning, go out and go shopping. You shouldn't have to worry about any rain out there. And most of us are going to be inside on Thursday afternoon and evening anyway, eating, watching football, or whatever, right? 60 degrees for a high today with that mix of sunshine and clouds out there. Mild, I reckon. Seven degrees above the average, and we've got a south-southeast wind not really causing any problems at five to ten miles an hour on the three-degree guarantee. Called for a high yesterday at 57, got up to 58. That'll work. Karan Murray of Henderson. Congratulations, Karan. Come on by the station, pick up your uh, sock cap, courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Now, we've trans uh, transitioned to sock caps now from umbrellas, so we could use them. We needed them last week, too. Uh, don't need them as much this week, though. 59 degrees for a high for Thanksgiving. Again, the rain's in the afternoon, dry morning, and then we've got rain early on Friday, and then mid-afternoon, and then Saturday evening, we got rain. So, really, it, you see rain chances yeah. all four days, but it, we're going to have gaps. We're most of Friday, of most time. of Sunday are going to be dry. And we're going to so. keep it at least above 50 degrees. Oh, I know. Compared That's what I love most. <laughs> After yes. last week, yes. we deserve this. <laughs> oh Absolutely. Yes, happy can. Thanksgiving. Got a big shout out. Oh, I don't have it up there. But Marcy oh. Hall wish, wishes us all a happy Thanksgiving. Oh. She is a friend of Thank Lifestyles. You. Happy Thanksgiving, Marcy. Oh, we love it. Thank you, Ron. This is going to be a good one. I <laughs> think a good. Good, good turkey day and a gorgeous one out there today. Oh, so. my goodness. I, I mean, love today. Yeah. And it's, it's the big travel day. So a lot of people getting to where they need to go today. Uh, yeah, but I'm not traveling too far. I'm traveling tomorrow to Owensboro. That's all I've got to do. Yeah, I just have to go to Hopstock. So <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. You live, that's just a it's short like drive. About 18 minutes. You can walk, right? <laughs> no, I can't walk. I can't walk, no. We're going to be right back after this. We've got some more things that you can do coming up for the holidays next.